Okay guys, good afternoon. Welcome to uh, Graham's Matchbox channel. Right, let's get on with doing what I wanted to do uh, on my YouTube uh, channel. Um, rather than having a rant and a rave. But you know what guys, I'm going to carry on doing it if the, if the scumbags carry on. But, but anyway, there you go. Um, so, what we're looking at today, I never finished off the, the 19 range. So, we're going to have a look at the, uh, the number 19 cement mixers so this is the 19f and the 19g so the sixth and seventh model uh, in the number 19 under 75 range um, and as you can see uh, the two types there the sort of standard um, um, cement truck and the later uh, Peterbilt um, this is actually a, a model that I remember from my um, childhood quite well actually uh, not particularly a favorite model of mine but it was it was construction based obviously and it was uh, you know, a good bit of uh, a good bit of fun in the sandpit when you're a kid. But there you go. Um, so we'll do the the 19F first. Um, just called the cement truck because it's a pretty much made up vehicle. Okay, and I'll quickly do the box types first. Only available in the K type box, and the only variations I'm aware of is the with new and with the without new um, uh, text. Um, model variations, only the one colour. So the sort of you know the sort of dark orangey red colour. Uh, you'll get glazing options. Uh, you'll see I've got incorporated green and purple, and you will get barrel options as well. So you get it with a red stripe, a black stripe, or no stripe. Okay. Um, you'll also get it uh, with um, a silver painted base uh, rather than an unpainted base. I quite like the silver painted base one because obviously there's there's quite a lot of metal shown at the front there. Uh, I'm not always so keen on or get excited about models with silver bases that basically you'd have to turn upside down to see it. Uh, so on, on display you're not going to see it, but that one with the silver base, obviously uh, 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 the, the grill and the, and the bumper, you, you would see something, that's, that's quite nice. Now the one I really want to talk about is this little beauty on the left, okay? And if you hadn't noticed, um, the difference with this one, great casting variation this, and this is what I love about Matchbox, is you've got this full height ladder here, okay? The later ones cut short. Now, why they did that, I, I don't honestly know. I, I, why they didn't keep it with that, I really don't know, because this was a proven casting, okay? Because this is actually based on the Badger, the Badger um, radar truck, okay? And the Badger radar truck had this full height step ladder to it, okay? So the first runs had the Badger casting. The later ones, they changed it. And, and again, if somebody can tell me why, I'd be very interested, because I, I, I don't know. But the best thing about this, okay, look at the artwork, chaps. Matches the artwork. And you know me, I'm all about the artwork. So we've got the five crown wheels, we've got the green windows, we've got the red and yellow barrel, excuse me, and we have the full height ladder here. Isn't that great? Just, just brilliant. So that covers the, the 19F um, cement truck. And we'll quickly talk about the uh, uh, the 19G. Uh, this is, as you see, they've called the, the Peterbilt because it is a Peterbilt um, um, cement truck. Okay. Um, what, what, one or two variations. Uh, generally, um, th this is the metallic green, but they also did it in a flat green. Okay. Uh, apart from that, excuse me. <coughs> apart from that, there's not too many variations. Uh, one model I didn't get uh, to match the artwork. Um, oh, well, one thing I didn't say, uh, the tampo prints here, you see there's yellow and white, they can, they can be white here and yellow here, so you get slightly different tampo prints. Uh, but the production tampo prints don't, do not match the, the box artwork. Now, the box artwork was done from a um, prototype pre-production model, and that model actually exists. It does exist with, the sort of, um, with this sort of livery here. Okay, so it's one to look out for if you want to go down the journey that I went down and try to get matching box and artwork. But unfortunately, guys, it's extremely rare. Uh, I think I've only I've only I only know of perhaps one or two. I think two two I've seen in my whole life. Okay, never had the chance to own one. Um, I don't remember seeing one come up for sale. If you've got it with that livery, you've done really really well. So um, well, well 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 done on that front. So it is out there. Okay, so definitely one to look out for. Only the L type box on the the 19G, uh, because that was that was the last run in the L box, and come 82 when the um, 
when the factory sadly closed down. That did go into later production in the Macau years. Uh, they kept the green livery in the blue box and then it generally went to blue and there's a few other sort of later variations as well. I've, I've even seen one in pink with ready mix on it. Um, so it did have a very long production run, run but in the Lesney period, which we're looking at at the moment, uh, just a very small run of maybe a, a, a year, maybe two. So that's it on the on the rec truck. Uh, sorry, uh, cement truck. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. I will move on to the number twenties very very soon. It won't be today, uh, but uh, but certainly in the next day or so we'll move on to the number twenties. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Keep well. Tada.